Introducing Chris Malone, leading business advisor and best-selling author of The Human Brand, How We Relate to People, Products, and Companies. As a sales and marketing leader, Chris Malone has risen through the ranks of some of the world's most successful enterprises, eventually becoming chief marketing officer for two Fortune 500 companies. CEOs and senior executives of market-leading companies now turn to him for guidance on achieving sustained growth and performance. Chris Malone provides powerful insights into building relationships that matter. The Human Brand is a must-read for those who want a truly evolved understanding of how to earn loyalty and create lasting relationships with customers. Back in December of 1982, Mary Lou Danalo worked as a frame attendant at New Jersey Bell at their central switching office in Rochelle Park, New Jersey. Now, it wasn't glamorous work and it didn't pay very well, but it offered benefits and a pension, which was important to Mary Lou because she was a single mother struggling to support a teenage son and daughter. And so as the holidays approached, Mary Lou started to think about ways she could make Christmas morning a little bit more special for her kids. And so she decided to volunteer to work some overtime hours in the training facility in Hackensack. The first night was smooth sailing. She enjoyed meeting new people, shared lots of great experiences, and driving home, she even started to make a mental list of the gifts she might be able to afford if she just worked a few more hours. The second night, however, was entirely different. As she entered the alley, she noticed there were two men standing in the shadows at the other end. About halfway down the alley, she noticed the two men had entered it and were walking very quickly towards her. And for reasons she couldn't explain, she felt certain they were going to attack her. Her plan to avoid eye contact went right out the window. She became focused on their faces, trying to make out their shape and expression. And then when the men were about 10 feet from away from her, she felt a scream welling up from within inside her. And then her full throttle brain recognized something familiar. And before she had a moment to think, the words, Hi, Frank, came out of her mouth. And the two men stopped dead in their tracks, startled by both the content and tone of her words. Now, Frank Passarella had been a pretty nice kid when he was younger. Mary Lou actually knew his mother, Jean. He'd gone to school with her son, Stephen. But in high school, he developed a drug habit. And after graduation without a job, he began to steal to support that habit. He'd been arrested several times and had gotten so bad, his parents actually had to put a deadbolt lock on their bedroom door so he wouldn't sell any more of their valuables. Now, Frank was stunned and embarrassed and managed some other words, hi, Mrs. Danalo, before he and his would-be partner in crime shuffled by. And Mary Lou made it to her car with her heart pounding in her chest all the way home, feeling certain that if she'd not recognized Frank, wouldn't have been the happy holiday she wanted for her kids. So what has become of Mary Lou, and how do we know all of this? Well, in fact, Mary Lou Danalo is my mother-in-law, and I've been hearing this story every year in vivid detail for 23 years. (laughs) It seems like the details get more vivid every year. But what is it about a story like this that we can all relate to? Whether it's something that's happened to us or someone that we care about, what is it about our psychology that allows us to navigate through these threatening situations very quickly and very accurately with very little information? Chris Malone explains why warmth and competence are at the heart of every lasting relationship, not just between people, but between companies, their customers, and their employees. What accounts for this tremendous outpouring of emotion and action? Was the quality of the clam chowder? The speed of the service, location of the store, the price? No, of course not. It wasn't any of those things. It was a genuine, compassionate act of warmth towards another person. And contrary to everything we've been taught in life, we are much more programmed to respond to demonstrations of warmth than competence. Despite that we've been taught that all of our success in life comes only from our competence, the reality is warmth is the dominant driver of our emotions and our behavior. Chris Malone has a unique talent for uncovering insights that challenge conventional wisdom and reveal new growth opportunities. Hear for yourself how audiences across the country are being enlightened, entertained, and inspired by these remarkable insights and stories. Make Chris Malone part of your next event.